Hello. This time, two days ago, Promise Nikenda was a 17-year-old with a university future ahead of him. Tonight, he is another statistic in the capital's knife crime epidemic. When he was stabbed to death in Canning Town on Wednesday, Promise became the 12th victim of knife crime in London since the new year. Today, his sister told us their world has been torn apart and she urged the government to do something to protect the capital's young people. She spoke to our reporter, Ria Chatterjee. 17 years old. Right about now, I'm just speechless. I don't know what to do, what to say. He was a loving boy, very caring. My heart's literally turned apart, you know. No word can express the way we all feeling right about now. You know, we're so used to him going out and coming home. The most pain part about this, he just got accepted to university. At the family home, Loss sits at the front door. And at the crime scene, no place is out of bounds for potential evidence. Shortly after 8 o'clock on Wednesday night, the teenager was the victim of a sustained and targeted attack, in the words of the police. Police want to hear from anyone who saw a black BMW estate car roaming the area here on Wednesday evening. They say it was stolen from a street nearby just before the murder and then abandoned afterwards. And they believe it's linked to the investigation. Maludi says her brother Promise always stayed out of trouble. So far, the family have had little information on what exactly happened to him. So what, next minute they're going to tell me wrong identity? How many times are we going to hear on TV wrong identities? I never thought I would experience this until it's actually hit my doorstep. The victim is the third teenager this year to die from a stabbing in the capital. Do you think the government needs to be doing more? They need to do more, not just more, more than more. Because these kids, you know, teenagers, they're too young. They haven't lived their life. You know, there's more for them to give than them to take their life away. You know what I mean? Because he turns 18 in two months' time. So how are we going to celebrate that? What, by bringing flowers to his grave? By, you know, by bringing flowers to his grave. Happy 18th birthday, promise. It's not fair. The second month of the year, I grieve my brother. We are another tribute this evening. Well, Promise was part of an organisation called Fight for Peace, which offers martial arts training and support to less privileged young people. The club says it's devastated, and they went on to say Promise had been a member of Fight for Peace fight for peace for many years. He was ever present at the academy and his warmth and unique character will be deeply missed by all that knew and loved him. He's also the fourth member of that organisation to die of knife or gun crime in the last 12 months. All right, Rita, thank you.